it is muddy. And when I say muddy, I mean really, really muddy. So we are here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. If you haven't checked out our channel yet, we got the horses and our donkey, which you can't see our donkey. Um, they are on this hill pasture to keep them off the mud because we've gotten so much rain. Last year we had records broken over a hundred inches of rain. We live near some of the wettest places in America in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, our dry lot here is muddy. We're working on a new dry lot plan in the front pasture. We're going to have um, a second dry lot with crushed um, limestone gravel. It's going to be about four to five inches thick. We have a new run-in shed built down there. So we got a lot of plans for a good dry lot for the horses. Um, as you can see, they're nice and dry. They're a little muddy. Everybody's muddy. But we are protecting an important investment this winter. Um, if we don't protect it, we're going to lose money and potentially the horses and other animals could get sick. So let me show you what we're protecting today. We are in the dry lot for the horses. We got a run-in shelter and attached to that we have our hay hut here. Here is where we keep all of our hay. We actually had a hundred bales of hay in here. And trust me, hay is not cheap. And we got five horse, well, we got four horses, a donkey, two mini donkeys at board here. So we need to keep this investment dry. We also use round bales. But for right now, we're doing some square bales. Okay, so here is the inside of our hay shelter. It is nice and dry in here, but what we're worried is in the back. So I'm gonna show you what we're worried about here. This is what we're worried about. I am installing a gutter on the back of our our hay hut and our run in and the water is going to drain that in on a downspout and I may even put a watering trough to make this a self watering system for the horses. Um, they do have an automatic water but if we can have another watering system for them especially right the power could go out um, so that is a good thing to do, have a second water. So we're going to hang up a gutter and hopefully protect all of this hay. First, I need to cut this thorn bush. It's a uh, wild rose. It's a useful plant, but it's in the wrong place. I'm tired of dealing with this thorn bush. So uh, I'm gonna have to cut her down, but I'm sure she'll be back next year. Let's put up some gutters. Hopefully this will be easier than I make it look. Okay, so here's about 20 foot of gutter I put on. And got not quite 20 feet, maybe 15 feet or so. As you can see, it's just, it's a mud hole. It's a mess. Um, hopefully the gutter system's gonna help this. And we're gonna tie this off so the horses can't get back. It is not easy putting the ladder anywhere. Here you can see the ladder slipped a little bit. That's ladder marks, not fun, kind of dangerous. So I brought the ladder over here and uh, let's climb up and see our progress. 
Yeah, this is dangerous. Climbing with one hand. And here's the roof. Time to finish this job. So that's a 10 foot piece, 10 foot piece. There's another 10 foot piece. We got about a three foot gap here. So I'm gonna have to cut this 10 footer down to size and fit it in. Um, not a big deal, kind of a waste of a gutter, but maybe I can use that gutter somewhere else or maybe as a, a planner or something. But I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I just need to cut this section. I'm using my silicone. I got my hangers, my drill, my, uh, those aren't wire cutters. Those are cutting shears. I cannot find my wire cutter. So uh, I'm using those cheap cutting shears and they should do the job. Down spout. Into the trough. I got to clean that, but uh, there we go. There's my down spout. Oh, this was my project for the day. Um, I gotta wait for it to rain to see if my self-watering trough is gonna self-water or if I did not put enough silicone in my gutters where I connected them, they could leak. Um, I did have a downward slope, so hopefully everything works out. Um, I'm trying this out. If this doesn't work for the self-waterer or maybe, you know, that's not a big water, it could easily overflow. Horses drink a lot of water and we have one waterer that's self-watering, but uh, yeah, if this can work out, that would be great. So I, so I just gotta wait till it rains and uh, see if my idea works. If it doesn't, I'm just going to take this gutter downspout down and uh, I'm just gonna let it run down the hill and I'll add a, uh, a drainage pipe in the ground for it. Um, so I hope you like this video. Um, I was able to protect my hay investment or my wife's hay investment and uh, add a gutter and maybe this self-watering trough will uh, turn out as a little extra bonus. Until next time, keep on dreaming.